respected chair, fellow panelists, DG and the staff of IDSA, Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity to thank the DG and the organizing staff for giving me this opportunity. It's a great privilege, and thank you so much once again. After listening to the keynote address uh, yesterday and the deliberations thereafter, there is nothing much to talk on terrorism and things like that. But, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to give you a success story. And we have, we are one, uh, basically achieved what other people are talking. So my topic is basically Sri Lanka, the Sri Lankan defeat of terrorism. Lessons for evolving an Asian response to combating terrorism. In May 2009, Sri Lanka, an island nation plagued with terrorism for over three decades, defeated what was considered the deadliest terrorist organization in the world, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Nilam. To achieve peace, almost 30,000 uh, 30, uh, possessing a land force uh, comprising a guerrilla army capable of uh, conventional combat and the most deadliest of suicide carders, naval capability extending from shallow water dominance to blue water transnational logistics, the limited uh, but uh, strategically and psychologically uh, disruptive air capability. However, the assiduous uh, political leadership that united the nation and regenerated military terrorism was decisively defeated, thereby establishing Sri Lanka as the only nation to have done so in the 21st century. But what is unique in this defeat is that it was achieved in a period of three and a half years and was comprehensive in the fact uh, that after May 2009, the official completion of the conflict, not even a single terrorist-related incident has been recorded. The retired head of uh, Sri Lanka's uh, Indian, uh, India's uh, Sri Lankan peacekeeping force characterized the defeat of the LTT as having turned conven conventional counterinsurgency theory on its head. The Sri Lankan government's defeat of terrorism has established beyond doubt that terrorism could be defeated by adaptive and innovative militaries augmented by the synchronized application of political, social, diplomatic and economic means. Extending the response to the regional application, crossing national geographical and political boundaries could be accepted as next to impossible. However, all is not lost. The hope of, for the future exists with, with a slow but steady realization by the nation's states that terrorism is best managed through a comprehensive whole of a regional approach. The LTT a hybrid uh, terrorist non-state actor. Rising, uh, rising from a small band of uh, petty criminals to a subconventional force comprising of a guerrilla army a deadly black tiger suicide carder, an effective sea tiger force, and, uh, <coughs> uh, and a small air force, the LTT was able to not only terrorize the entire nation, but also complete, uh, compete uh, and retain geographical space and establish a de facto government. The ruthless of efficiency of the LTT compel the U.S. Bureau, Bureau, Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, to describe the organization as the most dangerous and deadly ter extremist outfit in the world. The LTT was the first terrorist organization to reinvent suicide terrorism by employing uh, the suicide belt and the woman as a suicide bomb. 
The success of this concept is evident in the fact that the LTT was able to assassinate a president, ministers and political figures, serving chiefs and high-level military officials. The employment of the suicide bomber was not con 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 confined to national geography but was extended to India with a suicide attack which killed the ex-Prime Minister Mr. Rajiv Gandhi of India thereby demonstrating the world its reach. Sri Lanka's uh, fitting a response to terrorism. The defeat of, the ter defeat of terrorism in the concentrated application of instrument of national power by the government of Sri Lanka sets an example to nations dealing with terrorism and makes makes the unwinnable as propagated by the scholars winnable. The theory of counterinsurgency and counterterrorism practiced by the Western nations in recent conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan seem lacking the lacking and, lacking and is yet to produce the desired end state of peace. Force multiplying with the populace. The control of terrorism and suicide bombing in the depth of uh, the nation was a result uh, of a total security concept which meshed the populace from all professions with the security forces uh, multiplying security effects. Other than a few suicide attacks, many were preempted and defeated. Attempts at Mumbai style of uh, attacks too were defeated swiftly with the rapid and mm, in, in spontaneous use of special forces. Force multiplying with intelligence is a very important factor, ladies and gentlemen. An in, invigorated and restructured national intelligence, integrating all intelligence organizations, including the tri services, police, and related organizations, was able to stay ahead of the LTT. Lesson learned uh, and political <coughs> connection to a uh, potential connection to a regional uh, response mechanism. The roots of an effective counter terrorism or counter insurgency strategy lies in the populace and naturally should be politically led. Denying uh, uh, external support to a terrorist organization giving safe haven and um, uh, sanctuaries were discussed extensively yesterday. Uh, so what I want to say that we achieve them to a great extent by defeating terrorism or before defeating terrorism. The will of the nation, once again a very important aspect. The political leadership was able to muster the will of the populace against the LTT which enable the empowerment of the people as a part of the counter-terrorist strategy. Thus facilitating a collective and total security approach, the public opinion was strong enough to last the duration of the conflict. The conclusion identifies critical observation the related recommendations which should be the focus of any concept of regional response mechanism. One of the core observations of this paper is that Sri Lanka's defeat of terrorism in the final three and a half years of conflict should be credited to strong political leadership and pragmatic strategy, national will, the empowering the populace as partners economic stability, military innovations and um, ex external support, external military innovations and external support. External support included mustering of uh, mustering own external support which deny the LTT uh, which um, should be basically the same should be denied to the other side. The true Finance in diplomacy was keeping India out of the conflict. A feast achieved through the personal effort of the President 
and a special designated team. <clears throat> Another observation is that poor or developing nation cannot defeat or as a minimum manage internal or transnational terrorism without organized external support in the form of common regional or better in international responses. The Sri Lankan experience is that nations in instances of counter-terrorism cooperation prefer to cooperate bilaterally rather than multilaterally. A core or common understanding based on broadly agreed objectives may shape policy but uh, cooperation would generally water down the bilateral interaction. However, a common stand on issues of contention is required. The common stand should extend uh, to international forums to uh, expand own influence and gain legitimacy for the case for the course at hand. The support generated from regionally coherent responses should focus on boosting the instruments of national power of the nation supported which would enhance capacity to deal with related complexities. The classic example of the Sri Lankan context is the sustainment of, the, of a suitable economy or stable economy through China and other friendly countries. This also contributed to continuing development whilst in contact with the threat, which facilitated rapid post-conflict reco recovery. A frequently uh, circulated area of discussion is whether the Sri Lankan conflict uh, could have been terminated much earlier, specifically during 1987 when the LTT was cornered and at the brink of destruction. In analyzing the circumstances, both political and military and the internal dynamics, it can be safely stated that the LTT could have been contain effectively had the had Indian government not intervened at that time. However, the <coughs> LTT during the final days of survival expected and requested Indian intervention which went unanswered, probably because of the better and common understanding on terrorism with Sri Lanka. Further, it is recommended that regional cooperation should be not confined to just combating terrorism but also includes supporting, na supporting nations with conditions that breed terrorism. A preventive approach based on capacity building of such nations vulnerable is also a vital requirement. Finally, the Sri Lankan experience should stand as an example as how a nation suffered due to the big power hegemony. And small nations not having consistent balanced development policies and the lack of common regional understanding on dealing with terrorism. I thank you ladies and gentlemen.